for guessing. Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. Let's get into some juice. So getting right into the details of where I've been, what I've been doing, what I've been having going on, girl, how life treating you, all of that. Let's get into it, okay? So I wrote me some notes down and I'm trying to film this raw and uncut. I have my little fireplace background, y'all. It had one on commercial, so I had to fix that. But um, I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. I genuinely do, do YouTube because I love YouTube. I've always loved YouTube. It's just I watch YouTube. It's always been something really, really easy for me to do. Naturally, filming content is what I grew up on doing. I've been a content creator for over 12 years now. So it's like Instagram is so like it's a part of my everyday life. And I really am challenging myself the next 90 days to just get in the groove and the consistency of YouTube, something I've never done. I've had a channel for all these years, and I've never done it consistently, as my girls know. And I'm very honest, and I take accountability. We're sorry for leaving y'all hanging at times. Sorry for not being consistent. But I'm in this era now where, like, anything I touch, I'm co I want to be consistent at it. I'm consistently doing it in my everyday routine. So I want to try to do daily vlogs. I want to do content vlogs. I want to just bring the funness back to the channel. Of course, keep the fashion on the channel. And still, you know continues to try to build my generational wealth and be a business mogul. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to challenge myself the next 90 days. The last 90 days, plus y'all haven't seen me in over three to four months, but the last 90 days I've dropped a business. So, so what do you do? I am a serial entrepreneur and a shoe designer. Okay, what age did you want to become a designer? I wanted to become a designer at the age of 11 years old. So, I dropped a new business that I have been building for over two years. Before I had a work to do. But let me just say this. If you have been supporting me for the years I have been an entrepreneur since I was a teenager, I just want to say how much I appreciate you guys, how much you guys are a part of my journey with me. I love you guys sincerely. You guys mean the world to me. I mean, I honestly couldn't have asked for any better supporters. Um, and you guys have just been on this journey with me. Even when I take breaks, um, even when I switch up ideas, you guys are always down for the role and the journey with me. And I appreciate you guys so much. Those are some more boot samples in the back. Y'all don't know what goes on behind the scenes. It's a lot of hard work, dedication, money, um, and everything. And I just hope y'all love my second shoe. You guys love the first one. Um, this one's my baby, you know, and it's only up from here. I've always loved shoes. I actually got a tattoo that says only designer shoes. I got in college with one of my best friends and it's so crazy that now I'm officially a shoe designer. I'm in the shoe industry. Like this shit is crazy to me. I never thought I would know the people and have the sources and the connections to even be able to manufacture and build a shoe from scratch. Like it's, it, it's crazy to me like to be able to see this boot is actually a sample. But let me show you guys. To be able to literally say this is all me, the heel, the the arch, the the material approval, how it fits us, the elastic for making sure it fit multiple size thighs. Like it's so much that goes on behind creating and manufacturing a shoe, and it's so scary. It's it's, it's so scary where your your faith get tested more than anything, but you have to stay consistent you have to stay prayed up and just consistent with whatever whatever ideas you got so inside my boot is actually a sample logo I'm like look at y'all like that is amazing so this is one of my sample logos it actually did not get approved at all So this is one of my sample logos. It actually did not get approved. We've been working on this boot and just getting the arch right, making sure everything is gonna fit perfect for you guys and make sure it's just a perfect boot. And I just wanted to vlog my journey. Today is actually the shoot for it today. And it has been a long journey trying to get everything together. So this logo is the sample logo that I actually 
am going to change and I'm only going to change a few little things about it. So you guys will be getting the official logo, which will be a surprise once you get your boots. I'm super excited. So just stay tuned for everything. Make sure you guys are following my both of my Instagram pages will be pop up on the screen. Um, and yes, let's get it. Shoot day is boot shoot day. I'm excited. Hi, guys. My name is Posh and I will be shooting my second shoe in my season two. I'm super excited and I hope you guys love this drop. Let's get it. Before I even let anybody know what I was doing, I was pretty much moving in silence. Um, I announced that I wasn't going to be doing like fashion pieces anymore. I'm just going to be doing things that I create from scratch and that I love. But most importantly, I am now a shoe designer. So I will be updating my girls on all of that. Excuse me, how I built the brand, the I how the idea came, the process behind it, everything you will possibly want to know. Um, with you starting a business or you know, following your dreams or creating a product from scratch, being an actual inventor has a different feeling um than anything. I think that any business I've ever started, this one has a different feeling because I feel like God is all over it. God gave me the vision when I was doing other stuff and I kept pushing this vision back. I kept, I didn't know what God was trying to tell me. I didn't know what he was trying to get me to understand, but I just kept push, pushing the vision back since I really kept pushing it to the side. Like, nah, God, I don't know what you're talking about with no shoes. Like, I don't know what you mean with no shoes. But that was always something that was a passion of mine always something that I love doing and I even got it tatted on the side of my feet only expensive shoes in Arabic so I always love shoes I love shoes and I love bags they're like my kids until I have children and so it's just it's natural for me it's natural for me to know what I want on my feet what I want to wear what what I'm going to what's my style going to be 30 days from now 60 days from now I've always been real inventive and love switching my style up multiple times out the year I just th switch how I dress up and it's always fun I feel like fashion is a way to express yourself it's just like an artist or anything like that it's it shows creativity and it kind of introduces yourself before you introduce yourself so I'm really big on I was raised by my mother to always step out the door presentational representation Presenting yourself and you are your own marketing team you are your own mood board you are your own billboard and you always supposed to represent you for one at the best of your ability your brand if you have one as well so that's what your girl been doing the last 90 days I have been working 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 and I haven't really had time to have girl talk like I haven't really had time to just catch up with my girls see what's going on tell y'all what's going on with me so that's this whole point of this video to be raw to be uncut and to start an era um a new chapter with my youtube channel and to just do whatever idea comes to my head like i'm not going to overthink it will it get views will it do good is this what they want to see from me is this what box i'm put in like I am a person that you cannot put in a box. I come up with crazy ideas every day. I'm creating a content group in Atlanta of women. Um, Y'all know I own a brand called Girl Millionaire Gang. So Girl Millionaire Gang is definitely kicking back off this summer as well. And it's it's always been a sisterhood. The, the brand was made for me to have sisters that are like me around the world that relate to me. Um, that think similar to me or, you know, we on the same page, we reading the same book. So that's what I am continuing to build. Um, over the past years, we've done sold out LA tours and all kind of crazy things with Girl Millionaire. And I'm super grateful and proud um, of all the women who've always stepped out there on risk and rolled the dice just like me. So I will be giving y'all some uh, videos about that, my tour coming up and new different uh, business ventures that I will be tapping into. And so I'm super excited about all of them. I'm super excited to share the journey with y'all and just start blogging and letting y'all see what life is really about beyond the cameras, beyond the Instagram, the filters, the this, the that. I want y'all, my YouTube to be very personal very relatable and just seeing the raw of my life like i feel like i've always been so private and so scared to show a lot of things but now i'm living in a place of peace where it's like my peace is so expensive that no one can afford it to the point where i can't let anything interrupt it and so i'm i can't even afford my peace that's how expensive it is so it's like now that i'm in that place it's like i'm just open to vibe you know i'm like just vibe you know and that's what i'm doing with youtube i feel like i'm just vibing with this video turning on the camera sitting down in my gold chair 
just vibe, you know, and that's what it's about. So let's get into the video, just briefing y'all on my mood right now. I'm actually about to get ready to get ready for date night after I do this video. And yeah, I probably won't vlog date night, but I can vlog date night. I, I'll put that in my next like weekly vlog. So y'all will see that in a weekly vlog. But tonight I'm actually about to go on a date. Um, my dude came up with this date tonight. Well, she come up with all our dates to be honest. But he came up with this one and I didn't even know this movie was out. So we're going to see this movie and dinner. And I love the movies. The movies have, since I've grown up, I've been a teenager and had been in relationships in high school and college and stuff like that. I've always loved the movies. Like, that is one of my top five date, date. It's in my top five, the movies. I love the movies. I love new movies. I love researching movies. I like the meaning behind movies. Like, I'm the girl that'll watch a movie and start being on Google searching who it's who, what's what, what. Like, I need all the details, honey. I need, don't give me the story if it's going to miss details. Don't give me the story if it's going to have holes in it. You feel me? So, heavy on that. So, yeah, I'll be getting ready for day night in a minute. But I just wanted to come sit down and catch up with my girls. So, I made a list. Let's get into it. Also, my computer was broke. So, I, I had to get my computer fixed, which is fixed. And she's looking beautiful and nice over there. Yes. Yeah, so, I did that for my girls because I needed to edit and do all of the stuff that I needed to do. But, yeah, so I got my computer back, my camera, everything is everything. And we're about to do a 90-day challenge with myself and my YouTube channel. And I'm not going to say we're going to post every day, but we're going to do a lot of posts. At least three posts a week is what I'm aiming for. There's no reason why I can't do it. I can take y'all to work out with me. I can take y'all to package orders with me, out to eat with my friends with me, content day, travel with me. As y'all know, I love to travel. Airport fits matter. Use my hashtag airport fits matter when you're getting dressed for the airport or you're at the airport and you looking cute girl you represent yourself right make sure y'all use that hashtag that's another thing i got coming like your girl is not playing this year 2024 i am following every dream that i ever dreamt of like i was following my dreams back then when y'all first fell in love with me baby but i wasn't i wasn't really i was chilling doing it now i'm like leaning up and following my dreams i'm dead serious i know what i want I know what God showed me. I know what God told me, and I believe in it. So, yeah. Y'all know your girl going to always give y'all a good girl talk, honey. I got to always do that. So, I did do some little notes. Where have I been was the first question that I asked myself that I'm sure y'all would have asked me. Um, your girl has been building. Um, I have been just building everything in my personal life, in my business life, in my family life. Just building the foundation being solid is most important with me with anything. So the last four months, I it was like crunch time for me. So YouTube wasn't a priority because I don't generate a lot of my uh, customers from YouTube. I really just do YouTube for fun, for real. So I had to focus more on the market of where my audience is. And if y'all know, I grew up on Instagram. So that's where most of my audience is. I have gravitated to other sources like i have a thread now i'm definitely getting more active on my tiktok so make sure you follow that and all of that but i love thread i love that's a place like if you want to see what's going on in my mental that's where you'll find me and i'm just like running it like telling it you know letting you know what my mood is for the current moment it's like super up to date um i so i've been working on the brand as you know but this was like my marketing run Right after Christmas, I went to Times Square. I went to New York. I had a ball. Like, i literally been on many adventures all around the world having a ball. But at the same time, I make it work. Like, no matter what I do, I make it work. I do the content. I get the photos. I do everything I'm supposed to do because work is very important to me. Like, I do like to work. I'm, I don't have, like, I don't even have to work as hard and I still go as hard as I can. So I really do. So I've been living my best life going on great, like good trips. Um, I went on like one of my first girls trips in years, which was a ball. And it was with my mom. We had a ball. We had a time. And what else? I've been building the business, which is like now on my 90 day challenge, which is pretty much why I've been absent. 
I have been marketing my product. Of course, you know, I'm building a new business. It's a shoe brand. And this is something I haven't really ever done before by myself. I've had a brand deal with the company that I created a shoe that did well. But this one I designed from scratch. This is all from me. And just this, the experience was amazing. And I'm going to be sharing that with you girlies in this video. So I hope it motivates you to follow whatever you want to do in life. Follow your dreams and get it done. I just pretty much been building my business and marketing as much as I can. Just going 90 days of not stopping. Crazy creative content. Crazy creative photo shoots. I did like a mechanic shoot. Like I've been just doing different stuff. Trying different things. And it's been working. And I, I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful. This is how I even built my audience. This is how my sisters my girls even got to know me. Is was always just being creative. Being myself. And just being authentic. And that's what I'll always be. Like, I don't know how to be anything other than that. I will feel uncomfortable being something other than myself. So, i just been doing that. Marketing, building my business name, getting my brand out there, and just introducing my brand. I feel like this was the point where I had to go missing because it takes so much time to play so many roles. I have team members that uh, work with me, but no matter what, when it's your business, you're going to go over and above and beyond to make sure it represents right. So building my website from scratch by myself, all the stuff that I do behind my behind the scenes, people would think I have a whole lot of team members, but I don't. I have a handful of loyal people that help me build the business and get my vision, and they're a part of my, my success story. So I'm so grateful for my team and new members that I am, you know, introducing into my business world, and I'm enjoying it. I really am. I pray to God for like-minded people, his people to help me. I want one day to want to have a team of 30. Like, God just showed me that number, and I believe him to, to make it come true. So, we'll mark this day, this video. I said it that God told me I would have a team of 30, and that means... 30 people that depend on me to eat and stuff like that motivates me like I don't know I've always been just a self-driven woman um self-driven girl I've always been like that I just I I don't know how to be anything other than that but that's why I've been building the business it took a process you know and all of that and we'll get into that more into the video so just keep watching Okay, so y'all see, I don't got real comfy, baby. I'm real comfy. 411, y'all. So I am petite with it. Mm -mm. So I can do this. Okay, I can sit in a chair like this. Okay, so building a business from scratch was another point I wanted to tell y'all about. Like, the process of finding a vendor, finding a manufacturer is so hard. And that's what made me in 2013 come out with the plug and selling vendors to different women around the world to start their business was because I experienced personally how much money, time, and irritation I spent on looking for real valuable vendors. Contact, somebody could send you a number and contact to anything. You could Google a lot of stuff, but to find that one is always so hard and I had to invest in my business to, to do that. Like, I had to make those boss moves to find the perfect manufacturer create a relationship with them and make it real make it come to life so it took me like to just come up with the idea of like once i was like okay this is what i'm investing in this is what i'm starting in it took me probably like i always take like a weekend to design like the shoes and whatever i'm making the mood board i do everything digitally from my ipad that took me probably like i do that in a weekend like one weekend just lock in and design and then just say on a monday i go ahead and send it to my manufacturer he approves and say hey yes we can do this let me go and start searching this let me you know all the materials that we'll need he'll start going out shopping and gathering them um and taking me with him via facetime He's in Korea. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. And so that's just amazing experience. Just the experience. Like, I'd be there. I'd be right there present on every step of creating the the this shoe that one day you'll fall in love with. Or the shoe that you'll step in. The shoe that you'll stand on business in. So, I am in that every process. So, that process could time consuming could take forever the longest of the journey was finding the perfect manufacturer that was the longest part 
so finding somebody who's trustworthy, reliable. Because you sending your bread, you sending real money over your wire. I'm I'm wiring. I'm in the bank wiring big deposits, all of that before I made one dime from Design by Posh. So please understand me that that is a faithful girl. Like that is a girl who has big faith. And I was doing this. Um, like I made my first investment, uh, eleven eleven at the bank and then i'll include that in the video and that's when i made my first big wire my final wire not my first my final wire um and that was the last wire i had to make before the boots drop originally i wanted the shoes to drop for christmas before christmas so you could have had it for the holidays but i didn't get to do that unfortunately because time consuming i also put my shoes on a plane over in a container and go through the water transportation i do i pay extra for my shoes our shoes go on a plane and they come they fly to us basically so that process is time consuming and you know just antsy and ready for everything to come together you know it was a process but before i even got to that point after i made my first big deposit my samples came in which is a video y'all about to see of me opening my samples so I'm going to interrupt this clip and I'm going to take you back, back, back to when I first opened my sample box. I was so nervous. I was so anxious. But something just told me, turn on the camera. Let your girls see what's going on. Let them in on. Because I'm so private. When you're a creator, you want to be so private because you're afraid people will steal your idea or whatever the case may be. And so you you be private with what you're building until it's ready. And so especially like me, all my businesses, anything I put my money into is my baby. It's something I love doing and I'm happy doing it. I'm not creating it off of greed or anything like that. I'm literally creating it off of love. And I always seem to get that same that same energy back when I drop a product and y'all love it. So that's what really, 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 really makes me happy. Like, that's what really makes me happy is because I'm not creating something to just make a couple bucks. Like, I'm creating something that I want my grandkids' kids to be able to have a op or people in my community be have a, be able to have an opportunity. Or, you know, I'm creating for others. I'm not even doing it just for myself and my own benefits because I feel like God has blessed me with a good run, a good life, and I'm grateful for that. So I sit in that gratefulness. So I kind of see my vision. I see far visions sometimes and I can see close up visions more. I see further visions and I think that's what keeps me motivated and keeps me pushing forward to continue to build. So that's where I've been. That's the process. And now y'all about to see me actually open up my samples, how nervous I was, but I made it happen. So check this clip out. Let me know what you think down in the comments and we'll be back. Hi girlies. So I'm turning on the camera because I'm officially about to open all of my samples. They finally got here. I'm so excited. And yeah, I wanted to turn the camera just so y'all can see and I can have this for memories. Most important. I got y'all in my closet right now. But I left my tripod in the car, so that's why the angle is just horrible. But I wanted y'all to mainly see the samples and my my first real reaction. So I was like, let me turn on the camera with the girlies. And I want to have these memories with them. As y'all know, I already announced on my Instagram, I am taking a break from selling like fashion wardrobe and things of that nature and i'm officially becoming a shoe designer and our black friday sale by the time y'all see this it's been on started um so make sure you shop our blackout sale because our website will be blacking out after the black friday sale get you some pieces for super low numbers all of my favorite All of my favorite pieces, all of my favorite creations and designs. This will be the last chance to get them. So, I think my girl should take full advantage of that. Because, you know, we love a sale. Baby, this box is boxing. So, yeah. Super excited. I'm ready. I'm so, like, nervous. I feel like I had the box since last night. And I'm just now opening it 24 hours later. I feel like I just needed it to sit for a second. I'm just nervous to see quality and what everything looked like 
because I worked on this these shoes. This is multiple designs. I'm doing multiple shoes, have them ready so y'all never have to wait that long again. Um yep, that's how I'm doing that. So I hope all the designs are ready here. Me and my girls for fall and winter. I plan to take over the shoe industry or be a part of it. I love shoes my whole life. So I'm not doing anything that I don't love and I plan to put love into it. And I just prayed over my samples before I even opened them. Just praying, God, this is what you want me to do. Not what I want to do. This is what you want me to do. And I believe this is what he wants me to do. Y'all already see Mongolian. One of the designs is made out of 100% real Mongolian baby. I'm scared. I'm scared, man. Y'all can't see me. But I'm scared. I gotta hurry up and edit this vlog because I want y'all to see this in real time. Like, I really want y'all to be on this journey with me with my shoe brand. Like, I want y'all to be on this journey. Oh, my God. I need some more light in my closet. First, first shoe reveal. I'm gonna push the bo box out the way. Wow. Tell me this can't be in sacks, baby. Oh, oh my goodness. God is so good. Y'all, look at this boot. You can, like, reverse it with your Mongolian. So you really can design this. You can wear this in, in so many different ways. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I have to wear my shoe on Thanksgiving. It's a must. See how my my manufacturer bring my stuff like, baby, you can't tell me this not Saxony in this quality. It's stuffed, y'all, with all the right stuff to keep your boot looking good and lasting. I just want my shoes to really last and be worth the money. And my price margin for my shoes, y'all, is really low. Like, um, yeah, it's really low. Oh my goodness, girl. This is amazing. So this is the right one. This is the left one. These are the black ones. I'm going to incorporate videos in the morning of me trying each shoe on just for better lighting. Um, This is just raw. I needed to open this box. I couldn't wait no longer. But yes, this is our first boot. I haven't named none of my designs yet. But I can't wait to break each one down and just tell you like building it and show y'all my behind the scenes move boards and stuff like that but that's the first boot i'm so mad this lighting is whack okay next boot let me speed it up so we got that boot in another color y'all this nude color has been one of my favorite colors like a taupe nude um all fall i just been wearing all cream it's just been my vibe it's just been something i've been into so i came out with it in cream as well and again this is 100 percent real mongolian oh my god my closet is just about to eat even more than it already do just with my stuff this is they say don't wear design become a designer they don't say they, they say don't wear brands become the brand hello so this is the right one i don't know if y'all can really see what it's giving and y'all i love mongolian i'm gonna show y'all it's mongolian in my bathroom as well i have a mongolian bench like mongolian pillows i've always loved mongolian fur so it was only right that my second well i designed a lot y'all i designed a lot so i did the mongolian as well in this oh my girl posh only you and God, only God could have did this. Not me. I don't even want the credit. It's all God. Like, is you serious? Oh, my God. Is you serious? Yo, when I say I love my stuff, my samples are amazing. Oh, my God. God, I'm sorry to use your name in vain, but are you serious? Look at the quality of my shoes, y'all. These are mine. The souls say my name. Built it from scratch. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Like, I have to FaceTime my mama, y'all. I gotta FaceTime my sister. I gotta FaceTime my sister. I've been showing my mom some. I gotta face. Oh my god, look at these. 
Oh my god. And y'all, when I say y'all, when y'all see the price point of my boots. Oh, we got some exclusives. I don't know if I'm gonna show y'all them yet. They get crazy. Ooh, they my oh my god. Y'all, when I say I designed so much this time, like, yeah, it's been two years, but I'm showing you why. I'm showing you why. I'm showing you why it's been two years. So we got a lot of all these is secret designs. So what's that? That's four more designs that's a secret. Like I'm not letting my girls up this year. These are another, these bad. Is these it? No, these are another style. Hold on, girl. I'm looking for a particular boot. Here they go. Okay, is these it? Okay, so y'all, this is my number two that's dropping for the holidays. So it is a kitty heel. Extra pointy on the toe. Hello. But come on now. Diamonds and pearls always been my nickname growing up. Excuse my nails. I get them done tomorrow getting ready for thanksgiving hello this is boot two is you for real like please tell me where you can get something baby all my girls that buy their boots from aritzia not aritzia what's that store i don't know but come shop with your girl you gonna have one-on-ones in your closet man these are crazy these eat every ball main javanchi all that amina like i i love all those brands don't get me wrong but baby when you wear your own stuff it hit different so y'all these is it's two i don't know if i want to drop them together or separate but they can drop some more baddies let me know how y'all feel about these cowgirl boots. The Bottega Green. Okay, girlies. Now that y'all have seen that clip, let me know what y'all think about that clip. Let me know what y'all think about what y'all saw. Let me know down in the comments your honest opinions about the shoes that we dropped. We end up dropping our first drop. We dropped... The Mongolian sleeve shorts. So those were my favorite. Um, I designed these in two different styles because I have multiple moods. Like I have multiple things to do. I have, I have to have a shoe for the occasion. So my everyday, like how I dress, is super chic and super fly. Like every day, no days off. I don't accessorize and. Put the whole look together that's just me naturally that's not me doing too much that's not me being extra it don't take nothing out of my day or my energy like that's how i naturally am my fashion and how i represent myself kind of expresses like this was this what mood i'm in without telling you like this what vibe i'm in if i'm in my sneakers i'm in my chill vibe i'm in my heels well the Mongolian mongolian sleeve short was created because I wanted a everyday boot that was comfortable. So I built this at a three and a half inch. And I'll show y'all on the screen. Three and a half inch block heel. And my signature is at the bottom of all my shoes. So you know who is designed by. Me and God. Um, and so yeah I built the three and a half. And this one can go up to three different lengths. So it actually is a one boot with three different ways you can wear it. So it was marked at like 189 and I believe the quality to me personally, being that I've shopped and supported these stores since I was a teenager, I'm talking about saving my money to buy, you know, whatever type of designer I might want to support. This one, I was a kid, y'all. I'm talking about saving my money like for the month so I can buy this particular item. And I've always been like that. Or if I didn't have enough, I would be like, Mom, can you go and have with me? I want this Louis bag. I saved up $1,000. Can you give me the other $1,000? So that's like how I used to come as a kid. Like people thought I was OD spoiled, which I was. And I'm blessed to have parents that did. But I really worked. Like I just never wanted anybody to just say they 100% gave me something. I'd rather me and my parents go and have for it. Like 
I just used to like to do that. I did not have to do that. I was that one kid that did that. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I... And I'm grateful because I introduced myself to a lifestyle early on that my parents had already introduced me to. But I was able to understand what hard works get you. And I was okay with working for it. So, please understand when you see me. Understand that I like to work, baby. Like... I'm going to work because it's just what I like to do, you know, and I'm blessed to be able to do something I love. So why not put your all into it and give it everything? So with that being said, we created the Mongolian short first. That was my baby. And then I created the Mongolian tall as well for my weekend out with the girls, my date night out with Bay, And I want to stunt that what the mongolian tall was created for so i created a boot as y'all can see i'm gonna put them on the screen with two different vibes and they gave two different energies and they were same girl different boot like same girl different boot like literally is how i can explain how i design same girl different boot different day different vibe different energy and so those did really really well i let my mom and sister actually pick which one dropped first which was the short boot, which did amazing. It sold out in 30 minutes. So I'm going to take y'all to the next clip of me actually selling out the product once I did the marketing, once I did the rollout. Um, I ended up doing my photo shoot, which was at a barn. Shout out to my photographer. I'll have his information somewhere on the screen or down in the description box. Um, he did an amazing job with finding me in this perfect location and that's what it's about with having team members when you're not just the only creator creating and thinking of ideas is to have other people who are really good at it too. So he ended up finding me this perfect barn in this part of Georgia that I've never driven to. We took a journey. We had a ball and we shot these shots which will pop up on the screen that were so beautiful we shot them during the sun um setting we got there at the perfect time the sun was setting right on point and it was actually a barn a real historical barn in georgia so every content shoot i do is a big meaning behind it that's why i could never like copy or follow anybody because every content shoot i do no matter what it is it could be the smallest thing i have a meaning behind it like there's a purpose or a reason or there's a statement i'm trying to get to my audience and my girlies of what i'm saying of why i'm doing this like i definitely am a girl that moves with intention i think before i do things i think hard about it i i decide on things i create things and that's just how i am so what y'all about to see is me actually in LA. I flew to LA the day before I was dropping my shoe, which dropped on January the 5th, 2024. <laughs> Beautiful day, sold out in 30 minutes, site crashed. It was crazy. I had to get on my knees and start speaking to God in my supernatural language. And it was amazing. Like it was amazing. Once the site crashed, I was so hurt because it was just it 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 was it was it was amazing. I you want your site to crash, but you don't because you want all your customers to get a chance to one buy purchase something. You want all your customers to get a chance for their checkout to go smoothly. You just want your customer to have a really good experience when they're shopping with your brand. And so far, y'all, I can really say that's what I've had. All the orders we've shipped this far from selling out three times we've sold out three times since january the 5th all of those customers i probably had two exchanges zero returns and that's amazing that speaks for itself on the quality and the time i took with manufacturing my boot and stuff like that so yeah we'll get into the manufacturing portion if y'all want more details on that just let me know i just wanted to catch y'all up let y'all know the process of everything and building the boot time consuming wise it, it takes time you have to have patience in this business but i think everything comes out perfect when you have patience and god have taught me patience before i got to this chapter in my book and because i'm i'm still writing my story as your life going you're still writing your story you get new chapters um and it worked out perfect because i needed patience in this season and patience got me really in a really good place, a really happy place with my business and, and my life period. So always wait on your time, like, and don't hate on nobody else when they having their time because you don't want you don't want that same energy when it's your time. So 
that's exactly where I'm at with it. That's exactly what I do. So y'all going to see a few clips of when it sold out that I was able to capture. I didn't vlog in those moments because I was fully in my roll light 90 day challenge and YouTube was not a part of that particular challenge at the time. So I am here to catch you up if you did not see it on my Instagram. So enjoy those clips, my girls, of me selling out. Thank you, God, for being able to do such a thing. Thank you, God, for sending me the vision. Thank you, God, for reminding me. Thank you, God, for sending me the signs to tell me to go. To Thank you, God, for giving me the green light. Um, Thank you, God, for giving me the finances to be able to even invest Thank you, God. Invest in something before it flourishes. Invest in something before any profits are seen or anybody seen the product. I had to invest before all of that. So thank you, God, for me being able to. Thank you, God, first and foremost. This brand, the shoes I step in, the business I stand on would not be able to happen without God. I feel like in my other businesses and other years of growing, I gave myself way too much praise personally, and I didn't, I didn't give God enough. So I'm going to say that over and over again, period, and that's just what it is. So enjoy those clips. Let me know what y'all think about them, and yeah, take a look. in the bed and get back in my robe my phone have not stopped i love y'all so much i'm waiting on my team to confirm everything is back up and running i'm waiting on someone to bring me a laptop charger because my laptop is dead my phones are freezing up on me i love y'all so much right now just <laughs> i got my head in a pillow I got my head in a pillow. I need to put my head in a pillow literally like. Ooh. Ooh. All right, girls, now that y'all back for seeing your girl sell out in 30 minutes, baby. Tell me what y'all think about it. If y'all didn't already see those clips on Instagram, um, I was so excited. I'm so upset that I didn't have my vlog camera to actually be able to vlog those moments because I love vlogging for memory purposes. I can always go back and look at anything that I want that I was able to film for my girls. I can look back at it too. So it's not y'all, it's y'all benefiting. I'm benefiting too. So that's why I do it with open arms and happiness and good energy because I like doing it anyway. Um, and then I get to look back and see all of these memories. So yes that's where your girl have been um the process is still processing now we are in creative we in the creative corner of creating and designing spring and summer and it's in the process in the works the designs are already done they are already approved and things are already in motion so i'm super excited for my spring and summer shoes to be dropping because this will be my first spring and summer. So I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping that y'all love the designs that I've created. Um, right now I have four new designs that are done. And they are going into processing of manufacturing now. So I'm just excited. I want to, my overall goal is to be able to service all the women around the world. I pray that my shoes meet the closet of all the women around the world that like my style and you know dress similar or like the way i put things together and just the quality i want my quality to always give expensive expensive but be at affordable price which is the theme of my website is expensive can mean so much my girl like expensive is a personal feeling like it's not about a price tag it's about how you carry yourself how you feel it's the fabric that you're cut from like i feel like god cut me from expensive fabric so all of that is like the meaning behind my brand like i've always said this my whole childhood through high school it's always been the same energy with me my girl like, i can't switch it up for nothing like i'm gonna always be a confident woman i'm always gonna do daily self affirmations and speak highly of myself daily 
And that's what I represent with my shoe brand is expensive. You walk in, you talk in, you live in expensive, but it's at an affordable price where women all around around the world can afford it. Just because it's built strong and a good material, it don't have to break your pockets, but you can still look fashionable and designed by Posh and look different, be one of one, stand out. I feel like our society is so robotic so mannequin everyone dresses alike everyone want to wear the same boots everyone want to wear the same purse like it's time to switch it up we're getting into a new chapter in a new era where uniqueness is going to stand out authentic authentic the authenticity authentic energy authentic designs will stand out and yeah be different be switch it up you know whatever the case may be as y'all clearly see my tv don't went off the fireplace but excuse that, honey. It's real. It's raw. It is what it is. I'm not going to be playing with that fireplace on that TV. But yes, that's pretty much where I've been, my girls. Life is lifing, but God is guiding and he's doing his thing. Like, we're in a great place. We're building brick by brick um, for our fashion house. And that's what we're doing. Every day I've been shipping out packages. My customers literally are spoiled. Like, they order and it goes out the same day. I have really good customer reviews, really good ratings. And I'm really, really happy about that. I, like I said, have been getting my customers and they're just wild once they get their boots. They're putting them right on. They're styling them up. And you can check all that out on Design by Posh Instagram page as well. We keep you updated with all of our customers wearing our merchandise and showing you how they style them and how you can style them too. I'm just super grateful. I'm sitting in gratefulness and I'm ready to start this new chapter. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos y'all want to see from me. What y'all want to see, what y'all want to see, what y'all want to see. This is definitely a video where I want y'all to incorporate y'all opinion. Y'all know I'm Aquarius woman, so I don't do opinions, y'all. I don't be caring what people think. Like, I really don't. That's just how I'm cut. But when it comes to my girls, y'all are my girls. So it's like... That's like my homegirl, my girl, my girl. Like, if she got an opinion, I want to hear it. So, from y'all, I want to hear y'all opinion. What y'all want to see on our channel. We definitely got to get that 100K plaque. So, this 90-day challenge is all a part of that. And I just want to see what I can do, how far I can stretch my arm. And I just like challenging myself. I like really, really challenging myself. Um, I've been eating different fruits, vegetables, exercising all of that so i want to be able to incorporate and bring y'all along on my journey of um my spiritual journey healing journey growing journey woman journey like whatever you want to see i want to bring it so let me know down in the comments below um and yeah that is the update on me life has been good i've been traveling i've been having a lot of fun i've just been stepping out of my comfort zone if you are one of those women who uh i like to do the same thing eat the same thing i'm a very scheduled patterned person so this year is about switching it up going beyond my horizon going beyond my comfort zone and everything i have done in 2024 so far has been out of my comfort zone even down to posting samples before they're dropping like i've been showing you guys what i got coming and stuff like that pre-prepping you so you can know and getting y'all opinion on things and that's been really fun to just incorporate y'all with the brand as well so that's what i've been doing that's what i've been up to i hope my girls my girls i hope y'all are well out there i hope y'all are doing amazing i hope god is blessing y'all and i hope everything is everything be sure to stop by our website we change and upgrade monthly every month my website will change we get new themes new pictures and maybe one day you can be featured on the website as well i love featuring my girls my girls on the website so i can show y'all off and people can see y'all and see how y'all stepping so make sure y'all check out the website i am poshofficial.com this girl talk was fun. I don't want to take up too much of y'all time. And of course, y'all do know, your girl got to get ready for date night. She got to figure out what she wearing, how she coming to see this good Godzilla time somebody movie. But baby, my dude homeboy text him. He came and showed me the text message. Like, look, my homeboy text me, take wifey to this see this movie. Take your girl to see this movie. So... 
he is adamant about taking it and i've already heard other people now talking about it today and they would say it's so good they were crying they were laughing so i am excited for the experience i'm about to put my look together um and get dressed and yeah go on a. I, he asked me if i want to go at nighttime or a daytime date so i said kind of evening like not late but not too early because i had to film this video for you guys we would have been went but i had to film this video for my girls i put this on the schedule and i said i'm doing it so i'm doing it next i'm gonna go edit this because i really want to drop it tomorrow for y'all and just get just get it going like why wait get it done now so thank you to my girls i just want to say if i didn't already say how much i love you how much i'm grateful for you how much i'm thankful for you thank you for hanging in there thank you for sticking around thank you for clicking this video thank you for just being here and i pray to continue to show up for you the same way i you show up for me and this next 90 days is a challenge let's go i did 90 days straight instagram marketing posting every day different outfits i did it all in the last 90 days and i took a week off which was last week and i wasn't doing anything but resting and creating i still found a way to post every day every week and i probably missed one or two days last week of posting and then i also um created the four pair of new design shoes that i told y'all are in the works for spring and summer so even though i gave myself like a spring break i still was working because i get to travel whenever i want and does be vacations too so i was like give yourself a week off after your 90 days breathe celebrate toast and that's what i did so I am going to show y'all all of that in this video. If you have not already seen all the clips, be sure to rewind and watch the clips. And I love you. I'm grateful for you. Thank you, my girl, my girl, for picking up that phone every time that I call. Do not forget to pick up that phone when I call y'all because I'm going to be calling y'all really soon. New videos are on, on the way. Love you. Like comment and subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to 100K, baby, because I need... I need that 100k plaque. I need that 100k plaque in my warehouse. I need it in my warehouse this year. So this 90 day challenge is going to challenge me because it's editing, it's posting, it's filming, it's all of that all week long. But I'm going to get it long. I'm going to get it done because I want to at least do two to three videos a week minimum starting. I want to daily post, but we're going to start with two to three videos a week. And see how y'all support and like those, like how I'm coming with the content, and then we'll keep it going. So, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to forget to give this video a thumbs up. I haven't said my outro in so long; it's coming to me slowly. Um, do not forget this video a thumbs up and pick up that phone. Like I said, I'll see y'all later. Let go. Showing you all my imperfections.